this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I was having a conversation, and one of the things I noticed a lot of people have in common, and this is for those of you who are not able to get the counseling you need as readily as you may need it. We tend to filter the love of God through the kind of love we got or didn't get from our parents or guardians. If we felt tossed aside, rejected, unacceptable, constantly criticized, always the threat of being in trouble hovering over our heads, never a hug, Never, and I love you, you're my baby, I cherish you, never any of that. Things like, you give me the creeps, why don't you go over there and sit down and quit getting under my skin. When you break a glass or you take the trash out and you, you drop something and, and they're standing there in the door criticizing. You could never get anything right. That's why I don't take you anywhere. And you always ask me if I love you. Well, why don't you earn my love? Why don't you earn my respect? You know, parents can do much damage. Words can kill. We know that. So what ends up happening is we, when we try to get close to God, Tell me if I'm wrong. When we try to get close to God, we're waiting for the axe to fall. When is he going to get mad at me? When is he going to kick me out? When is he going to punch me in the face and pull the rug out from under me so he can laugh because I made him mad? When is he going to kick me to the curb and humiliate me in public? When you are that damaged and that scarred, emotionally and mentally, when you try to get close to God, you have got to say prayers like, Lord, help me not expect the same from you that I got from my sinful parents or guardians. Help me not superimpose their image over you. Help me not be so intimidated because when I look to you, I see them instead of you. Heal my heart, heal my mind. Some of you, have an anger issue and you don't know why. Some of you have fear issues, easily intimidated. You want to please, 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 please. Don't be mad at me. Don't be angry at me. Don't kick me to the curb. Don't reject me. We get so desperate that because we can't see God, and if he's all that holy, what would he want to do with the likes of me? We turn to the lower elements of life. People who don't care about us, people who act like all they do is put up with us because we have no self-worth, we're almost grateful that they're telling us they're putting up with us. We're almost grateful even though they beat us up and they, they mistreat us and disrespect us because we think we're not worth it anyway. And we're lucky to just have somebody, anybody doing anything. I plead with you. Go to God. Ask him to change your way of thinking and to help you get to know him for who he is, not for who they were. God bless you.